Let's go to Governor Kristi Noem's budget proposal does not include races for teachers. With the 2020 South Dakota legislative session beginning five weeks from this Tuesday, today I spoke with a lawmaker from each side of the political aisle about that lack of races. Senator Troy Heiner, a Democrat, and Representative Jess Olson, a Republican, each shared their thoughts on the governor's budget proposal not including raises for teachers. I think it's going to be challenging for people to hear that news and certainly disappointing. So what it means is, and it's important to remember, this is a proposal and it's the legislature that needs to work on the budget. I was sad when I when I heard that because, you know, we have it in statute uh, that, that we need to meet those, those target teacher salaries. And, you know, we'll just have to go through the legislative process and uh, try to get that money restored into, into that budget. State law says the legislature is supposed to increase state aid to the state's public school districts annually by the lesser of 3% or the rate of inflation. Noam did not ask the legislature to ignore this. Rather, she asked them to spend the expected additional money in other ways. We have a statute to bring either CPI or 3%, whichever is less, to continue to increase teacher pay so that we remain competitive and we don't sink back to the last place in the nation. So that's going to be our job in the legislature this session to try and figure out how we, we keep up with that. Heinert also brings up retention. Districts, you know, need these, these funds to not only make their target salaries, but uh, to keep, you know, the best, brightest uh, teachers in their district. And, you know, that's, that's why as part of the Blue Ribbon panel in 2016, uh, that's why we came up with that law, because uh, we were losing good teachers to other states. Olson is set to serve on the House Education Committee for the 2020 session, while Heiner is going to be on the Senate Education Committee. Check out this story at kellyland.com, where we will include links to previous coverage from Mark Kelly Volk and Bob Mercer.